boat of life sails across the stormy sea. Whenever there's a wind in my sails, but I have a friend who watches over me. When the wind turns into a gale. The most exciting day in Leticia's young life was when her mother sent her from her home in Guatemala to live with her grandmother and some other relatives in Belize. Leticia told me that she suddenly felt free. She started going to parties and dancing and having fun. Then one day, two Avenists started coming to her home to give Bible studies to her uncle. Leticia listened from another room, and as she heard the Avenus speak, she thought to herself, these guys aren't telling the truth. They don't know the Bible. The Avenus were talking about the gift of tongues as found in the book of Acts. Finally, Leticia couldn't take any more, and she came out of her room and said to the Avenists, you guys don't know the Bible. And she tried to explain to them what her understanding of the Bible was. The Avenists listened to her, and then they began to give her a Bible study. Leticia soon wanted to go to the Adventist church, and shortly after that, she wanted to get baptized. But her relatives were very much against her being baptized, and they said to her, if you get baptized, you can forget being part of this family. Well, Leticia did get baptized, and although the relatives didn't kick her out of the house, they gave her a really hard time. So they put lard and pork into everything that they prepared. So during the, the week, she would just go to the kitchen, get some cookies and a glass of milk, and that would be her meal. Her only real meals came on Sabbaths when church members invited her to their homes for lunch. Leticia said to me that it was at that moment that she realized how important it is to invite people to your homes when they've been baptized because you never know exactly what is going on in their lives. Well, things got worse and worse for Leticia at a relative's home, and finally she moved back to her mom in Guatemala. Shortly after she moved back to Guatemala, she met a young man who would become her husband. Leticia told me that God really blessed her marriage. She and her husband planted three churches in Guatemala and Belize. They have led more than 1,000 people to baptism. Leticia's husband has now passed away, but Leticia remains very active in community service. In fact, Britain's Queen Elizabeth II recognized Leticia for her community service in 2016. But Leticia said to me that even more than being recognized by the Queen, she is really longing to one day hear from God's own lips, Well done, my good and faithful servant. I know the master of the wind, I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm, makes the sun shine again. I know the master of the wind. Sometimes I soar like an eagle through the skies. Among the peaks my soul can be found. An unexpected storm may drive me from my heights. Bring me low but never brings me down. I know the master of the wind. I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm, makes the sun shine again. I know the master of the wind. He can calm the storm, makes the sun shine again. I know the master of the wind. You can read the full story by clicking on the link below this video. I love mission, and I hope you love mission too.